So what is this dark mode dynamic filtering all about? Well, there is a problem in Squarespace not related to the dark mode plugin. So if we have a dynamic header, so kind of a transparent header, so it's going to inherit the styles of the first section. And you know, this is cool and all, but there's a problem if the first section is a dark one. So then the header is like, okay, I'm dynamic, I'm going to be dark. But if the logo is an image, then Squarespace can't turn it inverted like it can with the text or actually not invert. It's just going to take the styles of this palette, even if it's some crazy color. But it doesn't know what to do with the logo. So this is not related to the dark mode plugin. This is the problem with the Squarespace dynamic header. So we can manually solve this if we target specific styles. So let's say that um, we have a problem when using the dark two as the first section. So dark two uh, has the class dark bold. So, you know, it doesn't show up. So again, if we use this code, we can make it work. And again, this is not related to the dark mode plugin at all. I mean, it's related, but the problem is there even without using the plugin. And this code should be used with the dynamic header if you have dark sections as the first section, uh, even if you're not using the dark mode plugin. But this is just uh, kind of illustrating the problem with the dynamic header and, you know, its challenges because it can inherit any style, any color. But if you're using an actual logo image, then Squarespace doesn't know what to do with it. So we need to kind of do those manually. So uh, we would ideally have to actually go through all of these 10 styles and see, well, how does it work? How does it work? Uh, so this is perfect example. We would actually want to probably uh, also enable it for this one, dark one. So let's actually do that. Okay, dark one, what is your CSS class? Um, it's dark probably okay it's just dark okay so i think we can do it like this and hit save let's see if it's gonna work yes so as you can see if using dynamic header we need to check all the 10 styles and for some of them, invert.